What's up guys, Christopher Walker here. Um, I am doing a quick video here to give you all of the details on what is called Thermo 30. Now I'm, I'm releasing a new uh, protocol called the Thermo Diet and it's, it's kind of a mind and body protocol to really help you to get the not only the best body that you're looking for but also just just vibrant health in general and this is actually after a culmination of basically 10 years that I've spent studying uh, nutrition with relation to endocrine health and so the thermo diet its full intention is to help you to optimize your thyroid and to optimize your reproductive hormones. So when those are all in concert and all functioning properly and all the organs involved are functioning properly, for example, like the thyroid, like the liver, um, when everything is functioning properly, you are going to have vibrant health and you're gonna experience vibrant health through that because what's happening is the energy flow throughout your body is optimized. And we're talking the energy flow from the cellular level, from the, the mitochondria and the cell functioning properly all the way up. What, what happens is that that translates. When that's going properly, it translates up through tissues, organs, organ systems, and then ultimately the organism, which is you. Uh, the energy flow throughout that process is optimized and, and you feel awesome. Imagine what you'd feel like if you have a lot of great energy. Now, a lot of people have very low energy. They have energy problems. They have sleeping issues. A lot of endocrine issues it all stems from diet and lifestyle so my intention with the thermo diet is to release a protocol that people can follow that is actually simple it simplifies things it's less complicated it, it's taking away the in stripping away the, the nonsense and the stuff that you don't need and it's focusing on the things that really matter uh, like nutrient density for example like quality of the food that you're consuming quality of the meat that you're consuming and I want you to focus on the right things so that you can make the, the dieting in your life just simple. So it's more of a, just a lifestyle that you feel good, you have a ton of energy, and you have vibrant health. So what I'm going to talk about today is Thermo 30. So Thermo 30 is essentially a 30-day, uh, you know, I guess time period where you're on the Thermo and using the Thermo diet principles. It's quite simple. So let's just say if you set a date 30 days later, that's when you can stop but you probably won't want to stop because it's, it's actually quite easy to do. It doesn't feel like dieting and you feel great when you're on it. You're going to definitely drop body fat. I'm going to, at the end of this video, I'll tell you how to calculate your calories and macronutrients to really optimize for the, for the thermo diet protocol, at least for a, a starting point where you can get started on the thermo 30. If you're interested in joining with thermo 30, we're going to be doing the first round of it here on the, on the YouTube channel starting on January 1st, 2018. Uh, however, this video will be up probably for many years. So if you're watching this in the future, you can just pick a date, start it whenever you want, get some friends to do it, that sort of thing. Trust me, you're gonna feel amazing when you do this. So I'm gonna walk through the recommendations that I have. I, I wrote down a list here, uh, and I'm also gonna put this list in the description of the video so that you can easily see it. If you have any questions, uh, I'm sure there are, there are obscure foods or obscure flowers or things like that that I might have forgot and left out of this list. If you have questions about those, just leave them in the comment section below this video. All right, so first up on the list, let's talk about carbohydrate source. Now, carbohydrates are a integral part of the thermo diet protocol, and this might seem contrary to what a lot of people are talking about nowadays with the big fad of the keto diet and that sort of thing, but we are looking to optimize energy flow through a thriving metabolism, and that's gonna be done through the glucose metabolism, not through the fatty acid metabolism. And contrary to just what, what you might think off the top of your head, actually when you're optimizing your glucose metabolism, you're gonna be using so much energy, there's gonna be so much energy flowing through your body that you're going to be burning a lot of body fat as well. And you're gonna see that your body comes really into a, a really nice physique, a really nice shape. A lot in a very natural looking physique and shape without having to use other things like hormone replacement therapies now a lot of people that are out there promoting the keto diet are either in very bad shape or they are using a lot of hormone replacement therapy and that doesn't you know it's just not an accurate portrayal we're looking here to optimize our hormones we're looking to optimize our natural energy metabolism and the way to do that is through optimizing your glucose metabolism. And if you're using the right carbohydrate sources, it's actually going to help with your insulin sensitivity as opposed to what you might be thinking. If people think that 
by eating a lot of carbohydrates, and they, they wrongly think this, that by eating a lot of carbohydrates, it's going to incre increase insulin resistance. And that's absolutely not the case. If you're eating the correct carbohydrate sources, which I'm going to talk about here now, it's going to improve your insulin sensitivity. In terms of the carbohydrate sources that I, I want to emphasize that you consume on the Thermo Diet or the Thermo 30, uh, the first off and probably the most important is getting a lot of good fruits from your diet. And like anything, the overarching rule on the Thermo Diet is that the quality of your food source matters. I know there's probably going to be a lot of people um, talking about how there's a bunch of pesticides, poor quality meat, and that sort of thing. Overall, any of the recommendations I'm about to give, get really good quality food. Get it from a good source. Reduce the amount of pesticides or no pesticides, no herbicides, no antibiotics in the meat, no hormone treatments on the meat, or, you know, humanely treated animals for your meat sources. Th this is all a given. This, this is literally like you got to get the best quality food source possible because one of the major parts of the thermo diet protocol is you need to decrease the toxic load in your body. You need to decrease the amount of work that your liver has to do because when your liver starts to become optimized and it's not stressed out from the constant toxic load that you're putting in your body of all these, these uh, endocrine disrupting chemicals, when those are really reduced, your liver starts to function really, really well. And you're gonna see that your thyroid is now functioning properly and your uh, natural detoxification protocols and system in your body is going to be functioning very well and when your liver is functioning properly, all your reproductive hormones are re really well balanced. That's a given. The quality of the food sources that I'm about to say really, really matters. And if that means you need to go to a local farmer's market, you need to talk to the farmers, meet them, ask them what they use. If they're using a ton of pesticides and herbicides, find local organic stuff. In most cities, you can find this stuff. In terms of fruit sources, uh, really think emphasizing uh, your fruit sources on, on melons, citrus fruits, pineapples, uh, berries, bananas, apples, and cherries are really good. The point of the fruit is that you get it, you're getting a lot of carbohydrate from these sor these nutrient rich sources. Uh, the micronutrient density is extremely important on the thermo diet because a lot of hormonal imbalance comes from the fact that people are micronutrient deficient. We are we're going to optimize your micronutrient load get a ton of micronutrients into your body during this thermo 30 as well as optimizing your gut health so you can actually assimilate uh, all of those nutrients so you become you know you correct any of these deficiencies that you might have and if, if you don't think you're deficient uh, honestly like statistically most people uh, are deficient they've done big studies on on populations and and there have been like massive across the board deficiencies as high as 90 91 percent for example with choline average of 91 percent of people in uh, Western countries are deficient in choline, for example. So I'm gonna talk about choline actually later because it's really helpful for your liver. So focusing on fruits for your micronutrients and as your main carbohydrate source, along with simple starches uh, like tubers. Now tubers would be uh, potatoes. You know, there's different varieties of potatoes. Make sure you get organic potatoes. Again, I'm gonna keep emphasizing that because they use a lot of um, pesticides and stuff on the traditionally grown commercial potatoes. Get organic potatoes. They actually taste a lot better too. If you taste like regular russet potatoes, it tastes kind of like cardboard. If you get organic Yukon gold pot potatoes, they taste really good. Sweet potatoes, squash, uh, carrots. Carrots are really important for um, decreasing the estrogen load in your body. They're very high in uh, vitamin A. So if you need some raw carrots every single day, that would be great too. White rice, if you can make sure that you get a good source of white rice. Now there's there's a lot of reports of, you know, just kind of the shitty typical rice that's out there. Maybe, you know, stuff like minute rice uh, being high in, in metals like arsenic. If you can, go to the international section at your grocery store. Get imported rice from another country. Uh, when If you're in the United States. The problem with, in the U.S. is that the way that we're producing food is just terrible in general. Um, so if you can get food from the international section at your grocery store, if you can get it from an international market or just local farmers, that's always a good way to go. Plantains and yucca, I would, you know, yucca is another tuber. Uh, plantains are kind of like bananas, but they're like a starchy, um, non-sweet version of banana. Fermented foods like sauerkraut and pickles, typically they barely have any calories at all. The, the fermented foods I think are important for optimizing your gut health. They're very rich in, in good probiotics. Kombucha would fall into that category as well. Vegetables in general, I, I'm i gonna say that they're not necessary. I think, you know, if, if you can get good quality vegetables, if you enjoy eating vegetables, great. Get some 
eat some vegetables. I think if you're getting the majority of your micronutrients from fruit, you'll be just fine. You don't have to go out of your way to include a ton of other vegetables in your diet. That'll probably be controversial, but I don't really care. Honey, royal jelly, cane sugar, this stuff is all fine. Uh, obviously most people don't eat a ton of it, but it, it especially like good honey uh, and royal jelly are very, very rich in micronutrients and um, have antibacterial properties as well. So it helps you keep from getting sick. In terms of protein sources, uh, we're gonna look at main protein sources in terms of meat. I, I count meat on the thermo diet being in quote, quote unsafe food. And I, I'm gonna talk about what that means in the book as well, but an unsafe food is it's essentially something that you need to really pay attention to the quality of the source of that food. And uh, meat and dairy, and uh, grains are lumped in that unsafe food category. It doesn't mean you shouldn't eat it, but it means you need to pay attention to where you're getting it from. Uh, in, in the United States especially, uh, the meat production is extremely terrible. Uh, I've, I'm gonna do another video completely on meat to flesh out the details here on the channel, so if you're interested in that, go, go watch that video. Uh, there's, there's a lot more details on that. What I recommend is, is focus on, on, for example, with beef, get grass-fed beef, know how the animals are treated. The amount of stress actually before slaughter impacts uh, the amount of what's called polyamines, which are uh, linked to cancer. They're carcinogenic uh, down the road. So if the animals are like constantly abused before they're slaughtered, if they're fed things, a lot of meat manufacturers are gonna feed the animals things that are gonna swell them up. They're gonna feed them a lot of estrogens, which uh, make them retain water, but also the estrogen is in the tissue, it's in the fat in the meat, it's in the dairy, in these cows. Uh, you don't wanna be consuming that stuff. They, they pump them full of a ton of antibiotics. So you wanna find meat that does not have all this stuff in it. And it is possible to find that. Uh, I personally use a service called ButcherBox. And ButcherBox, if you go to butcherbox.com slash truth neutral, actually, uh, the, the founder is in a, a business mastermind of mine where we have you know like health conscious, socially uh, viable companies and we did a deal between Truth Nutra. For Truth Nutra fans, you get a discount on ButcherBox as well as um, some free meat along with that when you sign up. So if you wanna do that, butcherbox.com slash Truth Nutra. Free range chicken, uh, wild salmon or other wild fish I think is good. Uh, I would reduce the amount of fish. I wouldn't eat a ton of fish. There, it's, it's difficult nowadays to find very good fish uh, unless you're getting it from you know like a, a, a stream or that sort of thing but when you get a lot of these fish out in the ocean they're full of heavy metals so you know you don't necessarily want to eat a ton of fish uh, turkey venison bison other game meat I think is very good if especially if it's legit like you shot it and you can eat it and you know you know it's roaming around eating its natural stuff it usually tastes amazing in terms of dairy i recommend again source it's considered like i said an unsafe food where you need to pay attention to the source really matters uh, if you get fermented dairy raw cheese that sort of thing it's typically safer um, if if the cow is treated properly and isn't full of antibiotics and estrogen uh, a lot of what they do in these commercial dairy farms is they're they treat the, the dairy cows with estrogen to keep them lactating unnaturally. It basically keeps them in this this uh, nursing state, like as if they just had a, a baby, but it keeps them in that state for years. Uh, it's, it's terrible. So if you can get a good quality food source or dairy source, you know, for example, like organic raw blue cheese, it's fermented, it's raw, organic, it's a good example. Shellfish, again, if you can get a good source, uh, typically they can be high in a lot of heavy metals. However, if you can get a good source of shellfish, uh, they are very, very rich in things like zinc. So, in that zinc source is really important for hormonal functioning, uh, unless you want to just supplement with it. Uh, liver, again, source matters. Collagen, bone broth, gelatin, these things are really have a lot of good anti stress amino acids in them. Uh, the liver is, if you get good liver, like if you can get some liver from Mexico, for example, um, you'll notice first off that it tastes incredible compared to the liver in the United States. When you have these good liver, it, this good liver, it, it's really, really rich in micronutrients and it's also high in protein. But the collagen, bone broth, and gelatin, that sort of thing, I really recommend even if you wanted to replace one of your meals entirely with, with a really good bone broth and uh, use some garlic salt, some sea salt, uh, a little pepper, 
mix it in the bone broth, you get the, get the natural gelatin, the collagen, and all the nutrients from the bone broth. You can also stay very full, especially if you melt a little bit of coconut oil in there. It tastes awesome. It's a good meal replacement. Really helps uh, when you're looking to drop some body fat too. Uh, in terms of fat sources, the main thing, and I'm going to talk about this in the avoiding section of the thermo diet, like what things you need to avoid. The main thing you need to avoid to really make the thermo diet effective is polyunsaturated fats. And I'll talk more about that here in a minute. The fat sources that you want to be using are coconut oil, uh, ghee, grass-fed butter, for example, like Kerrygold butter, olive oil, MCT oil, avocado oil. These things are either gonna be rich in uh, saturated fats, rich in monounsaturated fats, which are good, which are essentially just fruit fats, which would be olives and avocados, which are fruits, not vegetables. Um, and then MCT, like medium chain triglycerides. Those are all good. In terms of drinks, uh, I mentioned kombucha earlier, that's good. Uh, pressed juices that are actually real fruit juices, not just not just a bunch of um, high fructose corn syrup. Coffee is cool. Again, get good quality coffee. There's shit quality stuff. There's good quality stuff. Get the good quality stuff. Uh, water, mineral water. I really prefer things like mineral water in terms of um, something like Gerald Steiner, very high in, in the right uh, electrolytes, the right minerals that you're gonna need sodium, potassium, calcium, and magnesium. In terms of alcohol, I'm sure a lot of people would ask about alcohol. Alcohol is not banned on the thermo diet whatsoever. However, one of the main tenets of the thermo diet is decreasing the liver, the load on your liver. So I recommend keeping it under three drinks at a time. I recommend keeping it to straight liquors. I personally think tequila is the best out of all of them. If you can get a good tequila or a mezcal, but you know if you like vodka or whatever, th then that keep it to more straight liquors. Use mineral water to cut it, kind of like club soda type thing. With ice, pressed fruit juice with it. If you want to make a mixed drink, I mean it tastes amazing. You do a little mixed drink with with mineral water, ice, and a little bit of pressed pineapple juice with some tequila. It tastes great. Keep it under three drinks though. We want to keep the toxic load on the liver low. Uh, in terms of wine, make it organic. There's actually a really good company who's also in our group with with. Butcher Box and us, and he's called Dry Farm Wines. His name's Todd, he's the owner. His wine is very, very good. You should check out Dry Farm Wines too, if you like wine. Uh, in terms of uh, recommended supplementation during the Thermo 30, I recommend, I think choline is very important. You can take up to one gram of choline per day. I recommend also, you need to optimize your the stomach acid in your body to help really process everything and break everything down so you can get all these nutrients out. Take betaine um, hydrochloride. And we sell these things on truthnutra.com as well, but you don't have to buy it from us. You can buy it anywhere. Fluorosil 50 is the recommended probiotic. Uh, that's our probiotic. You know, it's I recommend it because we made it, and I think it's the best probiotic. So it's pretty simple. I recommend taking one to two capsules per day. This is going to help to optimize the uh, the good gut flora in, in your in your uh, in your gut, the good bacteria, and it will help reduce and lower the endotoxin production in your body because. The, the bad bacteria, what they're doing is they're increasing endotoxin, endotoxin production in your body. You need to uh, reinforce the good bacteria and kind of stifle those bad bacteria out of there. Uh, I recommend taking a lot of vitamin E over the course of the, the next 30 days, uh, especially if you end up going out to eat. If you end up eating any sort of polyunsaturated fat, the vitamin E is going to protect against the toxicity of the polyunsaturated fat and all the oxidized components of that fat that are, that are toxic to the body. So vitamin E as an antioxidant, very, very important. Uh, and then obviously the Truth Nutra Subs. Now a lot of people that, that follow me are already taking a lot of Truth Nutra Supplements. Uh, I still recommend if, if you're taking something for a specific purpose, for example, like Testro X to optimize your hormones, or Redwood to optimize your circulation, or Sensalin to help control your blood sugar, continue to take these things. Cortigon keeps your stress low, keeps you focused. Continue taking these things, or if you want to try them out, now might be a great time to try out uh, some of the Truth Nutra supplements. Uh, some other recommendations before I get into things that you should avoid. I recommend every day to get some direct sunlight if possible. I recommend at least 30 minutes of deep breathing or meditation daily. It really matters. It might seem like it doesn't, doesn't do much, but once you really start getting into it, it helps a lot with your energy. Uh, most of us don't use anywhere near our full lung capacity, so once you start to use your full lung capacity, you start to feel really, really great. Daily exercise of some kind, obviously, you know, you can do... I'm, I'm, I want to make the thermo diet friendly to all ranges of, of people, and not necessarily just people who are fitness buffs, but people who are looking to, to get healthy in any capacity. 
So I'm not gonna say you have to go do weight training because not everyone likes to do that. But it could be as little as walking for 30 to 60 minutes a day up to you know doing an intense weight training session or going out and doing stuff. I, I recommend in terms of exercise, avoid things that are gonna increase your stress from the exercise, like your excess cortisol production. For example, going out for a, uh, you know, doing a marathon or something, that's gonna increase a lot of stress on your body. Going out for a two hour run is a lot of stress on the body. You don't need to be doing that during this period. Um, if you can, this is a little extra, but if, if you can and you wanna do it, use red light on key glands, like your thyroid gland and your testes for guys. Uh, using that red light therapy is actually proven to, to help heal these glands and make them function more optimally. So that, that red light wavelength really, really does help heal the body. All right, now let's talk about things that you should avoid. First off, the big one, like I said, polyunsaturated fats. These are not gonna do anything good for your body. They're toxic, especially to your endocrine system. Essentially, that is vegetable oils, polyunsaturated fats, anything with vegetable oils. Unfortunately, this is gonna limit the fact that you probably aren't gonna be able to eat out very much uh, unless you know that you know, the place that you're eating out at cooks with butter, coconut oil, that sort of thing, good quality stuff, because most restaurants use some form of polyunsaturated fat in their cooking. Um, I'll, I got a list here of the typical polyunsaturated fats that you should be avoiding. Uh, canola oil, safflower oil, sunflower oil, omega-6 fatty acids, corn oil, soybean oil, peanut oil, cottonseed oil, rapeseed oil, any kind of vegetable oil in general. Margarine shortening, which could also be like Crisco, and any of these fake butter substitutes, anything like that. Just avoid it, don't eat it. If you do nothing else, but you avoid polyunsaturated fats, you're gonna feel better, simple. Um, another thing that I want you to avoid in the next 30 days on Thermo 30 is don't eat beans. Beans are actually very, very high, like black beans, pinto beans, that sort of thing. They're very high in a compound called the goitrogens. And goitrogens are anti-thyroid. And what we're doing here on the Thermo Diet is we're trying to optimize our thyroid and uh, our reproductive hormones. So, you know, maybe you love beans, I don't know. But just for 30 days, give it a shot. Don't eat beans. Seeds also, in general, most seeds, like flax seeds, chia seeds, sunflower seeds, are uh, contain a lot of lignans. Lignans are estrogenic. Stop eating seeds. Uh, nuts in general, there's a lot of conflicting fatty acid profiles on nuts, but most of them are very high in polyunsaturated fats. So it's better to just avoid them. One that it's very high in monounsaturated fats as opposed to poly is macadamia. Brazil nuts are really high in selenium, but you don't want to eat very many of them. So if you want to eat two of them, that's fine. Your exposure to the polyunsaturated fats in it is not gonna, it'll be negligible, especially if you're consuming vitamin E as well. And they're also a good source of vitamin E. Peanuts avoid. Artificial sweeteners of all kinds. Don't eat any artificial sweetener, consume it drink it, whatever. For Thermo 30, just don't do the artificial sweetener. What they do is it's going to lead to that endotoxin production of that bad bacteria in your gut. Just avoid it. I know a lot of people like to consume things with, with artificial sweetener in them, but just for 30 days, just don't consume it. You're gonna feel a lot better. You're gonna notice actually a lot of, like, you'll, a lot of bloating is gonna go down too. Food additives of any kind, soy, tofu, any, any of those types of products, soybeans, um, food coloring, mint tea, uh, and just mint, like real mint of any kind, I recommend avoiding because it is anti-androgenic and it's very strongly anti-androgenic. Oatmeal, you know, the beta-glucan in the oatmeal uh, interferes with cholesterol in the body. Um, just recommend for 30 days, give it a shot, don't eat any oatmeal, you're gonna feel better. Uh, NSAIDs, acetaminophen, cough syrups, any other type of over-the-counter drugs that you buy at a local pharmacy or whatever that uh, you take for painkillers, uh, the, f the flu, colds, that sort of stuff, headaches. Avoid those for the 30 days and you're gonna, you're definitely gonna feel a lot better as well because what they do is they really put a lot of stress on the liver. Uh, they're also proven to lower androgens and um, you want to be optimizing your liver function here. There's also research showing that stuff like acetaminophen, acetaminophen use leads to higher SHBG production which lowers in men a lot of uh, free testosterone. So just, just kick out the uh, over-the-counter meds. And obviously pharmaceuticals too. I can't, I can't tell you to stop taking a bunch of pharmaceuticals. A lot of people are on a ton of pharmaceuticals, but if you know you don't need them, just, you know, you don't need them. Uh, beer, chemical-laden alcohols. There's a lot of alcohols out there like Fireball and you know, all these diff Malibu, whatever. Just avoid those. Stick to the simple alcohol rules I, I had earlier. And then iron enriched flours and grains. A lot of what people mistake as gluten intolerance and celiac problems actually comes from excess iron. 
don't cons it's because we have just poor quality iron enriched flour in uh, the United States specifically, but also in a lot of other countries. For example, in Norway, uh, they did away with that a few years ago, and they started to they did away with the iron enrichment mandate from the government. And um, over 80% of the people that were studied in that study, one year later, after they stopped enriching their flour with iron, got rid of all gluten intolerant symptoms. Also, just avoid chlorine, avoid light halogens like chlorine, fluoride, and bromine in general. Those are, they're toxic for the body. They're not going to do anything good for you. Uh, all right, so just to wrap this video up, it's getting, getting long. There's a lot of detail in it, though. I'm going to put all this detail below the video as well. If you are looking for fat loss on the Thermo Diet, the way to calculate your calories for the Thermo 30, do take your goal body weight, and I recommend, we're looking at 30 days, be realistic. If you're 250 pounds and you want to, your goal body weight's 180, uh, you're not going to drop that much weight. Look for a, a realistic about a 10 to 12, maybe 15 pound drop in this period of time, in this month. Uh, it's, I mean, 10 pounds is, is a really solid and, and very, very doable. Um, for example, just to give you a reference, when I, I first did this, this diet protocol, I, I was at 225 pounds, and in three months, I dropped 30 pounds. So that was an average of 10 pounds per month. So if you're looking at that, that's a good solid way to go. You're going to set your, your goal body weight at that 10, 12 pound drop for the month. Now multiply that by 11. That's your, that's your, uh, and, and if that, that's in pounds, that's in, you know, not in kilograms, in pounds. Um, multiply that by 11. That's going to be your daily calorie target for this. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to set carbohydrates at 50% of your daily calorie of your consumption. Um, so what you're going to do is, you know, take your daily calorie target, let's say it's 2,000 calories, uh, divide that by 2, it's 50%, that's going to be 1,000, divide that by 4, uh, because there are 4 calories per gram of carbohydrate, and that's going to be 250 grams of carbohydrates per day. Um, so you can use that calculation however your calorie target ends up. Uh, what we're going to do to make sure that you don't lose any muscle on this period of time um, we're going to set the protein target at 0.8. So for example, if you're at about uh, 250 calories, I think 0.8 is, uh, or if you're at, if you're at 2,000 calories uh, per day or 2,100 calories a day, the uh, protein target is going to be around 150 grams per day if you're doing at 0.8 uh, grams of your goal body weight. So that, that uh, 2,000, 2,100 calorie per day is about a 185, 188 pound gold body weight, for example. Um, so the protein target is going to be 150 grams. A lot of people are going to freak out and say that's too low. It's not too low. Uh, just deal with it. Try it. You're going to retain your muscle. And then uh, the, the fat is going to be the remaining amount of calories. So in this specific case, it's going to be about 45, 46 grams. Um, remember, fat has nine calories per gram when you're calculating this stuff in. Again, I'll, I'll stick this in the uh, description below this video. So that's Thermo 30 in a nutshell. For anyone who wants to join us here on the channel when we're doing it live, um, we're gonna be doing it. Make your calculations. I recommend tracking everything in the MyFitnessPal app or another type of app. It makes it really easy to track. Stick to these food sources that I mentioned. Um, just get a lot of rest, sleep a lot, you know, relax, get a lot of exercise, you know, good, positive, you stress exercise, and uh, you're gonna be feeling great in a month. So let's do this. Thanks for watching.